Breaking news now, I'm Bokin Kurdistani independent Kurdish journalist. Kurdish protesters have occupied British Conservative Political Party's headquarters in London to protest against the government's support of Turkey. We have a full report why Kurd doing this in just a minute. is that whilst you are here in this forecourt, this is private property and therefore you are trespassing. Whereas we do not take away your right to demonstrate, I would like to ask you if you would leave here onto the road and you may carry on your demonstration. But the question is, why Kurds occupied British Conservative Political Party's headquarters? It has been a more than a one month curfew imposed in the majority of the Kurdish town in Turkey, especially in Su, Jazir, and Slovi. People cannot go out, children start dying from hunger, and military bombing, shooting, and killing day and night. A school has been closed down and hospital become a military headquarters. Thousands of the injured people without any treatment. Electricity power cut down by the Turkish military, as you see. There is no drinking water. 
people trying to collect their street water to drink devastating. Since curfew imposed in the majority of the Kurdish region in Turkey, 205 civilian, majority women and children were killed by the Turkish army, police and special forces. House and villages has been destroyed. Dead body is everywhere. Thousands of the Kurds fled from home in very cold winter time and they have nowhere to go. <laughs> Today, 5th of January 2016, in the town of Salopi, when the people were trying to collect a dead body, the army killed three Kurdish leaders. Seva Demir, Pakizem Nair, and Fatma Ula. They are not letting any journalists to enter to the Kurdish town to report the situation. <laughs>
journalist in Gladbacher were trying to take some images regarding a police crime in the street. They arrested him and he has been jammed. Another journalist tried hard to stop his arrest, but he didn't help. The police ignored him. He just tried to kill him in the street. Digital News Agency, which is the only news agency that are reporting from the war zone in Turkey, reports today ago that the one police commander resigned from the position and said and he said he don't want to kill Kurdish civilian anymore. Just few hours later, he has been arrested, and we don't know what happened to him. After all this now, there is in Kurds occupied conservative political parties headquartered in UK because Britain has had a stronger relationship with Turkey since Prime Minister David Cameron visited Turkey in 2010 and when two countries signed a strategic cooperation, especially military cooperation. For that reason, Kurds asking United Kingdom to put a pressure on Turkey to stop Kurdish genocide. Kurdish people demanding to end the curfew in place in Kurdish region and asking European Union to step in and stop human rights violation by Turkey. If European Union just stop and watch and then another Syria and refugee crisis will knock European door. But in this time, from Kurds in Turkey. A special report from Botin Kordusani, independent Kurdish journalist, 5th of January 2016. For more breaking news from Southeast Turkey, please follow us on Twitter, Botin Kordusani at Kordusan24.